Chapter Twenty Three of the House on the Borderland by William Hope Hodgson. This LibriVox recording is in the public domain. Pepper. I was seated in my chair, back again in this old study. My glance wandered round the room. For a minute, it had a strange, quivery appearance, unreal and unsubstantial. This disappeared, and I saw that nothing was altered in any way. I looked toward the end window. The blind was up. I rose to my feet shakily. As I did so, a slight noise in the direction of the door attracted my attention. I glanced toward it. For a short instant it appeared to me that it was being closed, gently. I stared and saw that I must have been mistaken. It seemed closely shut. With a succession of efforts I trod my way to the window and looked out. The sun was just rising, lighting up the tangled wilderness of gardens. For perhaps a minute I stood and stared. I passed my hand confusedly across my forehead. Presently, amid the chaos of my senses, a sudden thought came to me. I turned quickly and called to Pepper. There was no answer, and I stumbled across the room in a quick access of fear. As I went I tried to frame his name, but my lips were numb. I reached the table and stooped down to him, with a catching at my heart. He was lying in the shadow of the table, and I had not been able to see him distinctly from the window. Now as I stooped I took my breath shortly. There was no pepper. Instead, I was reaching toward an elongated little heap of grey, ash-like dust. I must have remained in that half-stooped position for some minutes. I was dazed, stunned. Pepper had really passed into the land of shadows. End of chapter 23 Recording by John Van Stan, Savannah, Georgia